In this short video, we're going to show you how to perform a data check in the RAM modeler. Now in the RAM modeler, the data check command is designed to check the validity and completeness of the model and to detect errors that the analysis and design modules may not. This may include incomplete slab edges, missing supports, or missing sizes on lateral frame members. To perform a data check, you're going to go to your RAM modeler, select integrity from the main menu, and then we're gonna to go to the data check option. Now within the data check dialog, we have the option to, to check the completeness of the gravity system, the frame system, or all of the above. So we'll go ahead and check the gravity system since we don't have any frame members created yet. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK, and then the data check will be performed. Now in this particular exercise, we're gonna notice that several warnings and errors have been detected. Now a warning is something that the program is going to report to you, and it may or may not be something that you need to address, so you're gonna to wanna to investigate a little further. Anything that reports an error, however, is something that may prevent the analysis or design engines from completing. So those are things that you're definitely going to need to fix before proceeding on to the next step in your workflow. Now for our particular model, we're gonna notice that several warnings have indicated that sizes have not been assigned yet to our concrete members in the model. So we're not at that phase in our modeling process. So for now, we're okay with that warning, but we do need to fix that before proceeding to the analysis and design phase of our workflow as column sizes for concrete members or also beam sizes for concrete members must be defined before performing any type of analysis and design. As we scroll down, we're also gonna notice that this model does contain a few errors. Now, errors will be reported in red, which means that these absolutely need to be fixed before proceeding on to analysis and design. Now, for our particular errors, we have a couple of beams that are not supported um, on a particular end of the member. This is because we accidentally deleted a column without replacing it with any other type of support element. So any member that was framing to that particular column is now unsupported. Now, every member in RAM structural system must be supported before an analysis and design is performed. Now, simple span beams must be supported at both ends. Cantilevers need to be supported at at least one end. So here I can see that the column was created. Now, if I add a column back in at that particular location, and if I were to perform an integrity check again, I would go ahead and see that that error has now been removed. Now, as you proceed on in your workflow at different phases in your modeling process, you can go ahead and perform an integrity check. And of course, definitely perform one before proceeding on to analysis and design. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.